Look at how beautiful this looks. Oh, Ty, this looks gorgeous, man. Yeah, it You've been good. busy. Look, look at this. Woo! Look at this. <laughs> no way. Look at this enclosure she lives in. Look at this. This is going to be a fun turtle fest. I am excited. Look at his passion has blossomed. Look at the size of this guy. Look at this gorgeous animal. Gosh, this is, I'm blown away. Oh, look where we are, friends. I drove all the way to see my buddy Ty. Hey, here we are. Hi, we're, we're in Iguana Land, and uh, we're here to talk today uh -huh. about turtles. You and, got it. Uh, you're, you're not, you, this guy never rests. We have done Iguana Fest. You've raised a lot of money for Iguana conservation. Right. And now you're going to set your sights on turtles. And we actually, we did three Iguana Fest. We almost raised $200,000. Oh, three. that's incredible. And so this is our first annual Turtle Fest. Okay. Right? When April is it? April 27th, right here from noon to whenever we finish the uh, auction. <laughs> that's <laughs> it goes fantastic. Up to like 10 o'clock. Um, Hey, if you have any auction items, send it to us, please, okay? All right, uh, Where, where's probably, a good link? www.turtlefest.events with S. Okay, we're going to have that in the description. But right now, we're going to show you the brand new, beautiful, this is the what? The largest what now? Well, reptiles are in the world by species, about 250. And then we have about 140 species of turtles here. Well, we're going to pick just a few. Yeah. and have a look. So yeah. check it out. Where do we go? We just want to walk this way. You can see uh, some beautiful enclosure on the left side. We made them as natural as possible. You know, and right. the last time I was here, look at how beautiful <laughs> this looks. Are these ecosystem uh, enclosures like aquascapes? Yeah, let me uh, come go in Let's there. Let's go in. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, Ty, this looks gorgeous, man. Yeah, You've been good. busy. Look at yeah, that smile. Yeah, yeah. I know I know hard work, man. When somebody recognizes the hard work, you get so yeah, proud. Exactly. I'm, Look I'm, at no, this. It's important to have, you know, work so hard. It's important to say, somebody say, hey, this is great, kind of thing, you know? Absolutely. These are actually gold coin uh, turtles. No way. You got yeah, the golden yeah, coin yeah. turtle. Pull one out. From National Zoo. From the National Zoo. Okay, <laughs> so that's what's great. You're doing partnerships with other zoological institutions. Woo! Look at this. <laughs> no way. Pull that guy out. Let's get a look at that head. Wow. This that is, gold... is the largest golden coin I've seen. Uh, me too. They yeah. come from National Zoo. That is beautiful. So that's an older specimen for sure. Yeah. Four. Beautiful female. Wow. And they gave us three, and we had three here. Oh, that's great. We only have one young male, so if you have large male, it'll be great. That is beautiful. It's Look beautiful. at that. Yeah, that's it's a amazing. beautiful egg laying female. Hopefully, she reproduces. Wow. And uh, guys, again, look at this enclosure she lives in. Look at this. Beautiful brook bubbling down here. We've got, there. we've got a wetland up there. That is amazing. Look at her. Holy smokes. He's going to go out and dig out another turtle, but I'm hoping we can kind of tickle her and see if she'll stick her head out. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Chinese box turtle. Look at right here. Hold on. Let's go see the Chinese box turtle. I'm going to walk up and over. Ooh, They're still kind of... Oh, yeah. Flavor marginata. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got those in my front yard, man. These are beautiful. I actually got some eggs out of mine recently. Yeah. And I... this... This time of day, they love to burrow under the plants and into exactly. the microclimates. Exactly. But look, bromeliads. And again, guys, look at how Ty has planted everything. Lots of plants, lots of shelter, but most importantly, running water. Exactly. Water is important. Clean right. water for these guys. They have nice weight. these animals. Let's see. Oh, see, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the way to help the turtles. That's a happy be. animal. That's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah. This is going to be a fun turtle fest. I am excited. I had to get down here and help Ty promote it. Uh, so many of you people know you as, you know, a lizard guy, but you are just as passionate about turtles. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, for, for me, they were my first, the first reptile I kept. Same here. Turtle. My dad really? gave me a turtle That's when I what, was six. Well, I was six years old. My <laughs> no dad way. gave me a turtle. That's amazing. That is crazy. That's so cool. That's the same exact story. My father took me to a pet store uh -huh. in Levittown, Long Island. And I'm one of seven kids. So dad wasn't splurging. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyhow, he got me a red-eared slider turtle. 
And uh, I had that turtle for a long, long time. So I got my really cool. first turtle was reef turtle. Oh, awesome. And that was in South Korea. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh. And then I had a little, I think it must have been, obviously it's a metal frame to, you know, yeah. like antique kind of um, aquarium. Uh, aquarium. But I was fascinated. I Absolutely. was just I, I run home after school just to look at, to the, look turtle. at the turtle. <laughs> well, I'd say just like me, look at his passion has blossomed. What a father can do for his son is just incredible. What parents do for their children really sets them up later in life. So it's very important yeah. to nurture the interest of your child in whatever that may be. Yep. Just support them and uh, let their curiosity blossom. Absolutely. I think that's the best thing Absolutely. in the world. Absolutely, yep. I'm blown Whatever away. Whatever they choose, you know. I am. Not, don't push them into one way that you want them to. Right. Let them explore and then and then, you know, they'll tell you what, what they're passionate about. That's so cool. Well, I'm telling you what I'm passionate about, these enclosures. This is, I mean, look at it, all the way down the line. You have really outdone yourself here, man. I'm, I, I, I don't get blown away often, but this, these, this is the dream come true, to have aquascape ecosystems like this, running water, just doing their thing here. Look at how it's all grown in. Yeah. I mean that yeah. you, you oh look at this size. Is that a grandis? Yep. Look at this guys. We have these at our house back at the camp. Oh I keep walking yep. into the screen. Yep. Yep. I keep yep. walking in. I got a duck. Look at the size of this guy. And these these are characters, man. A lot of people think they're just a boring turtle, but they're not. They're extremely fun to watch. And look at this one hiding down here. Yeah. They love to walk around, sit in cool streams, and they eat absolutely everything. What are you gonna check in there, bud? That keeps the water at the same level. Oh, very cool. Automatic. Uh, automatic fill. Fill, yeah. Very cool. So if this evaporates, what happens is this float will go down and it turns yeah. on, it opens a valve, and water comes out of here. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that's been a lifesaver. Oh, I'll bet. There's uh, yeah. a lot of, in Florida, there's a lot of evaporation. <laughs> you don't want to come out with the hole try to fill these things. You Woo! Know? Definitely not. That is so cool. Actually, what's the difference between these two enclosures? What is the difference? Florida rock, Pennsylvania rock. Ah, oh, so that's okay. like a thousand dollars more. <laughs> I know, because the trucking to get that rock exactly, down here. Exactly. Oh, my God. I want God. a little different variety. Okay. So, that, see the rock there is a little different also. Yeah. Smooth rock, river rock. I got to be honest, I want to look at all these enclosures. Do you mind if I continue to walk through? Is that okay? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. That's this, why you're here. Oh my gosh. I just, I, I mean, this is really something. And here's the thing, guys. You know, you're talking about, um, it, uh, did you do these yourself? Of course. Not. Okay. I designed everything and I hired other people okay. to do it. So did, did a, a contractor do these ponds or yeah, one of the Yeah, actually Tim Signer with the, the brain behind all this design here. Okay. And he had a couple of help, our employees, and he built it over a month. Yeah, this over one month. This is right. incredible, guys. Uh, actually, a couple of months and these, all these of uh, the equipment or the pumps and everything come from Aquascape. Yes, okay. So th this is really nice because um, these are manageable, but they're still, you're talking about rock. You're talking about some of the Aquascape uh, plumbing and so on. Right, you there's know, a filter there, and of course, yep, pump the down there. Exactly. Yep. I mean, Ty, this is tremendous. Now, this is a native the, a fern that just popped up, I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah, they just show up. Actually, believe it or not, some of all these plants are taken, by, take, taken care of by Sarai. Oh, wow, Sarai. Every one of these plants are taken care wow. of by Sarai. You know, Sarai is the right-hand human to right. our friend yeah, uh, Ty. Human. She's superhuman. She also, I gotta tell you, I was hoping for some Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> she cooks up some fantastic Thai. Okay, so what species was in here? Oh, I believe these are, oh boy. Yeah, we gotta look. Yeah, I have so many species. I hear you, buddy. And we're not, we're not out by the signs. I could look at the sign here. Hold on, let me look at the sign. What do we got? Yellow-headed temple turtle. He has semis and a Here we go. You got one? Yep. Ladies we have and gentlemen. One. This is a rescue. Here, Emmys. Here, Emmys. How at, heavy it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, these are a beautiful species. In fact, I was, uh, I actually took possession 
of a few, but sadly they came in right from Hong Kong. Oh! And so many of them died. It was right, one of the right, first, right. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was an unseasonably cold winter. Yeah, this um, is the rescue. That, that's amazing. Look at yeah. this. So we had a fire. Actually, heat lamp landed on her. Oh, no. Uh, okay. But it's totally cured now. Yep, yep. But look, guys, the yellow-headed temple turtle, let me tickle her butt, and I can get her head out. Let's see. So this is very similar to a grandis, but exactly. they have that really pretty head, the yellow head. Yep, and this is, out. yep, and this, like the grandis, is one of the animals you'll find in the Buddhist temples in the ponds that people send uh, up. Look at the yellow head on that. Look at that pretty yeah. animal. And they're a large turtle. Yep, that's they, right. they get bigger than this. And so, uh, I'm looking for male. Okay. If, if we're looking to, to connect the date here, it's a, yep. it's turned into Tinder a little bit here <laughs> at the reptile world. That's the dating app. And yeah. uh, if you guys have a male, uh, contact Ty because he is looking to, of course, reproduce them. That's your goal. You want these exactly. animals to reproduce, exactly. uh, to create assurance colonies, and then yep. work with yep. the different zoological institutions right. and conservation organizations to kind of hopefully one day repatriate some right. of these animals. Plus, I have a big eagle. <laughs> I, so far, I produced 108 species of uh, reptiles. So okay. I want to keep going. I want to yes. get. Maybe there's a record somewhere I might be able to break. Listen, if you're going to have an ego, have an ego for <laughs> conservation and turtle propagation, I say. I'm That's just, awesome. I know he's teasing. I'm just kidding about the eagles. I know he's teasing. Uh, this is so beautiful, though. I love, I mean, just finding, who's in here? Oh, my gosh. This you, is this you want to why? Yep. <laughs> That's you want to why? Yep. Can I pull it out? Is it, would, would you oh, do the, is that okay? Yeah. I just don't, I don't know if you want to disturb anyone. Oh, look no, at this. no, 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 no. Look at this guy just hanging out right there. Beautiful. You want to why? And, and. I, this I is one of the top 25 most endangered species in the world. There it is. Look at that. And if you look at the natural way, the shell has, yes. you know, stuff Algae, on it. yeah. And this is the way they should look. That's exactly right. You know, you've also got the shaded area right here. Exactly. As these plants grow, though, you won't even need yeah, that shade sun cloth. here, shade over there, yeah. water here. They really, see, that's the thing about building something for the animal. You want to build them and give them different areas with different type of temperature and the, and the, uh, the humidity and everything. And then let them choose. Yes, and then they will. I mean, look, it's it's starting to warm up. He was in the water. Yep. Um, this water will get warm, but he'll yep. wander over there and stay cool in exactly. the uh, shade. And the great thing is all these enclosures have running water. And the running water actually helps cool things down. Yep. So that's awesome because yep. there's some heat exchange there. Um, this is a beautiful species. Uh, we were recently in uh, at Quetzal Dwyer's place in Reptilandia. Okay. He oh, had yeah. some of these also. He's, you gotta go check his place. I gotta out go there, yeah. You're gonna love it. Matter of fact, Ari might be coming here soon to build some rock work for me. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. he's done some amazing work in I Reptilandia. Know. And uh, Quetzal's gonna be here in August, so he's gonna visit me. Maybe he'll actually get a chance to see That'd your spot great. also. That'd be great. So this I have is so really many cool. good friends who just support me and it's amazing. This community has been really good to me. Yeah, you know that that is true. I mean, when you find the right people in the in the industry, uh, yeah. you're really yeah. lucky uh, because we do all kind of uh, collaborate right. and help with animals exactly. and try. Exactly. We want to see these animals right. do well. So that's yeah. awesome, Ty. I'm so glad. Well, you know, you got a great <laughs> attitude, buddy. I'm t I like tickling their butts. <clears throat> Let's get them back in there. I tell you, I have to tell you that recently there, I see a lot of negativity in in the reptile industry, and I I hate that. Yeah. I, I want to avoid it as much as I can, and I want to keep doing positive stuff just like you do. That's and it. That's buddy. very important. You know? Well, that's why we get a chance to hang out, man. Uh, you know, I met you years ago now. And um, we're of the, the same uh, kind of mindset, and exactly. I think that's important. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm blown away, man. This is so much fun, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Yeah, I mean, look at the, I mean, we could do a whole video just seeing these beautiful enclosures, and that, that'd be good. We probably are. <laughs> yes, I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to do a whole video with these enclosures, uh, but I am, oh, gosh, Ty. Right there? Who's there? Yeah, I'm going to stand on this rock. Look at this. Who is that? Oh my gosh, this is, uh, wait a minute, what species is this? Hold on, hold on. This is, wait, this is, um, uh, this is not, Pachuga, Kachuga, what is this? Ah, uh, gee, I, hold it's on. escaping me. It's okay, it's escaping me also. Yeah, I There's, know, I know. Rhino Clemmies, obviously. Oh, this is Rhino Clemmies? Oh my gosh, I am completely out of my depth of experience here. South 
American wood turtle. Okay. Pintaria. Pintaria. Weird, I'm saying pachuga, kachuga, what am I talking about? Uh, so this is a, pr I've never seen this. Oh, you never? No, this is beautiful. And they've been doing great. All Holy these animals smokes. here for at least three years now. Okay. So they're just unbelievable. I mean, the weight on these animals, yeah, yeah. the alertness. They do really well. Well, you know, Ty, um, it has to do with your care and what you've provided. And look at the reticulating line. Beautiful. Look natural, right? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly, oh my gosh, this is just too much. I'm not even gonna it try going, and guess. Right? It just does, it keeps going. Here's some more. Yeah, this one that looks one like a wild. came with the, uh, yeah, yeah, little injury to shell, but guys, that's what the shell's for. In the wild, you know, uh, a predator would nibble on this animal, and that's what happened here. Sometimes you'll see this happen in captivity if there's a larger turtle. Um, this animal, clearly this has happened a long time ago yep. because it's healed up. But look at it, no problem. He's doing his we thing. We have a lot of rescues here, actually, too. Yeah, that's you awesome. See right down here? Okay, what's over there? Oh, wow, look that's at That's where they usually stay. Okay, they're hiding out in here. So cool. Wild. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, these uh, rhino plumies and carrier? Okay, if you say so. I am not <laughs> up. I'm really not good with my yeah, Central yeah. American woods. I, sometimes I just, I, I can't think. Of, That's of, fine. I have so many different species. Oh, know? believe me, I, I don't. This looks like Cora ambienensis over yeah, here. Okay, we've Cora, got those. Yeah. Oh, the subspecies. Yeah. Okay. Again, guys, oh my gosh. Actually, um, yeah, these were gifts from uh, uh, Chuck Schaefer. Oh, I know, Chuck, yeah. yeah oh, man. Was, yeah. He, that was one of, uh, he would always always come visit Chuck Schaefer. He was passionate about turtles, really passionate about Burmese, mountain tortoises, and sea turtles. Yep. Uh, but Chuck exactly. passed a few years back now. I have his, uh, one of his uh, real old uh, Burmese black toy. Oh, that's that amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. Again, these are the type of people that we absolutely loved, who support us. And now we have, just like Fred Grunwald, another amazing guy, um, how I have Fred's alligators. Um, you know, it, their legacy lives on in their animals. I believe that we have the red cheek mud turtle. Oh, very cool. Which will be probably hard to find. Hard to find in here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love this. This is just a stream. See if you can find them. All right, let's see. What Do we know what species we're looking for? I'm going to let you look. All right, I'm going to look. If I were it's a turtle. One of the black turtle species. Oh, it is? Yeah. All right, let's see. You see one? Oh, my gosh. I see some <laughs> colorful, oops, sorry, colorful <laughs> legs. I'm, I'm tripping all over myself here. Look out, guys. Oh, Mexican box turtle. These are Mexican box turtles? Yep. Oh my gosh, look at this pond! A real rare one. Guys, what's the Latin on these? Cohelan or are these the Cohelan or are these um which No Mexicana? Mexicana, okay. Look at this gorgeous animal. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my god. And they all look variable too. I have oh. six in here that Wow. That is gorgeous. And look at look at this beautiful habitat. Oh my God, Ty, it's such a cool, this is such a cool way to spend my day here at Iguana Land. I love Land. the habitat here. Yes. Here's I want to be a turtle at your house. That's one right, right here, you see? Right here in that depression. Oh yeah. Just like that. Oh, yeah, they are variable. Look, yeah. you get some different, like oh, the others. Oh, definitely have, variable. Look at this. So this one has more of a muted carapace. Yep. Wow. They were all kept in bread too. Really? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome job. Yeah, I actually, you see four of them in here, don't did you? See yeah, four? I saw three. Yeah. I didn't see the fourth, yeah. but that's beautiful. What's that... good about it is they just have such a diverse, you know, like different type of area that they could choose to sit in. It's right. in the water, moisture, dry. Yeah, and, and you know, the thing is with box turtles, you know how important a microclimate is Absolutely. for them. Um, they spend most of their time hiding. And then I'm sure you come out here when it rains, you'll see them just oh. all over the place. Exactly. But, and the evening. Oh, yeah. very Long cool. Morning and dusk is when they come out and explore. Guys, again, I, I can't get over this. I'm loving this. Anytime you have water and movement, it creates this tranquil effect. Um, and the turtles really appreciate it. It's just, oh gosh. This is, I'm blown away 
by how much things have uh, matured. Oh, there's an ornate wood turtle. Come right. in, man eye, I man believe I that's I called. Know. Yes, look at these two. Of course, he's got little mosquito fish in here. We've got a whole ecosystem for these animals. Um, they can catch bugs. I'm sure they're catching things in these ponds. Actually, we got some babies out of this pond. Really? Yep. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at where we are. You see them? That is awesome. There's a small male right there. There's yep. a female. Yep. Oh, look, there's one right here. There should be a few in here. I have to look at them on tour to see how many. Yeah, there, there's, there's, I'm counting one, two, three, four right here. Right. There's one right underneath. But this should is... Should be at least a half a dozen in Oh my gosh. These are pretty. These are one of the most beautiful and hardy turtles. And you've seen, you know, these have been seen in the pet trade for some years. Right. Um, I have never, you know, never worked with the Central American woods. Um, but they're beautiful. They're hardy. And uh, they, they overwinter, every one of these overwinter here very well. Very well, that's important. You and I are actually just on the opposite sides exactly. of Florida. We're at exactly. the same latitude, but just you're west of me, I'm east of you. Yep, yep. Um, so that's good to know because we have the same temperatures exactly. pretty much. Exactly. Um, so this is really cool, guys, because that would be a species um, that I'd like to work with. And these are all beautiful enclosures that are spacious, um, but the water features now I hesitate to say this. Uh -huh. I was going to say with what you know, some of the water features I have are large. Okay? Right. These yeah. are smaller. They're right. still not cheap. No. These are not cheap. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, but they are beautiful. Expensive. Yeah, they, they are expensive. I mean, uh, if if you were to purchase and build one of these guys, I'm I'm estimating to be perfectly honest, you're looking at about a five to six thousand dollar enclosure. Um, Ten plus. You got to include all labor. the. No, oh, that's the all electric. The, yeah, that's right, right. Right, electric. Water has to be pumped over here. Yeah. All that basic stuff has to be done wow. before you start building the pond. Okay, yeah. yeah. So plumbing. You have to also have to raise the ground a lot. Down here, in Florida, it's dirt. Well. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of thoughts, but wow. Okay, you are committed, man. Um, what is that, Ty? Um, if you want to become a millionaire with reptiles, <laughs> you're supposed to start with two million dollars. And then well, you become a millionaire really quick. <laughs> yeah, I spent eight million. Eight million dollars of your own money. Yeah, it's a gift yeah. to society for me. Yeah, that's amazing. It's something that I want, I've always wanted to do. I was very blessed with my business system before, so this is my way of giving back. This is awesome, Ty. And if, if you guys want to help turtles in general, don't forget, we're doing this video to promote Turtle Fest, which is coming here to Iguana Land. It's gonna be all turtles on that day and you'll be able to see these enclosures for yourselves. We have some box turtles here. Are these Easterns? Yeah. Look at the most beautiful Eastern I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and show you guys something. I'm gonna just give them a quick little bath and I wanna show you guys something. For those of you who are not from the north or the east coast of the United States, look at this. This is probably the prettiest box turtle we have in the United States. Um, I grew up as a boy in Long Island, and I would find these all over vacant lots, meadows, things like that. And yes, they do swim, but I wanted you guys to see just how pretty the markings are on this animal. Just an incredible species, Terrapinae carolina carolina. And from this species, the subspecies are the three-toed box turtle, you're going to also have the Gulf Coast, the Florida box turtle, and uh, oh, there's one more. Wait, da, 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 I think that's it. And whoa, North American wood. A North yep. American <laughs> wood turtle. Hold on, I feel like a kid in Pennsylvania again. Oh my gosh. That animal probably in Florida for about 30 years now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And these guys like it cooler, so it's important that you have this shade cloth up because in the summer we have such We had our brutal. babies here all the time. Oh, that's the key. Yeah. There you go. A lot of people said you can't have these guys in Florida like this outside. They're doing great. You know why? Because I bought them already established in Florida. Yep. It's not like we're taking them out of the Michigan or anything like that. Exactly. Them down, that's so. right. These animals are acclimated and they're quite right. adaptable. So Absolutely. he's got... That's, that's it. Adaptability. Very adaptable. Yeah, so... If you, you give them the, the right habitat. They're probably found under here, see that? Oh yeah, there you go. 
There's a couple of females under here. Yep. And there's another one over there. And so you'll find babies. Yeah, exactly. That's incredible. Exactly. You have plenty of places for babies to hide. Exactly. That's the other key. Baby, exactly. It's big enough. It's big enough. They can hide. The adults can't find them. The birds can't find them. Uh, but you you guys find right. them. We're here so. every day, two, three times, you know, checking things and stuff. So oh my these gosh. are some of our more uh, uh, water loving are... tortoises. Water loving tortoises. Okay, so. Yeah, you got this yeah, drip system going. Yeah, I got the going. water running constantly. Okay. We got a drip system. We create a mud. So these are what I call mud-loving species of like redfoot. They oh, love yes. mud, right? Yellowfoots, redfoots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mountain tortoise. Look over here. Let's see. Oh, forced, forced eye. Forced eye. Look at the forced eye, guys. <laughs> at first glance, you might think these are the elongated tortoise, but these are yeah. not. No, these, these are... came from a dollar zoo. Oh, wow. Look at that. Forced and I, such a cool species of turtle. All right, so now we are over into the more of what you would consider um, more of a facility-esque portion of. Aquatic Holy smoke! That chicken turtle. Yep. <laughs> what? Look at the neck on that chicken it's turtle. Pretty rare, actually, in collection. Chicken yes, turtle. Yes, yeah, it's, it's right. hard to find to in get nature. Him, I heard. Right. Uh, you know, I find them by me. Okay. But, um, okay. That's just incredible. And what else do we got? Oh, Podicnemus. Yep. Unifilus. Yep. Oh, there's the Unifilus. Guys, so many turtles here. <laughs> you guys have to get to Turtle Fest. Um, my camera's gonna overheat, so we're gonna go ahead and quickly end yeah. this video. Yep, yep, yep. What an amazing job Ty is doing for turtles here at Iguana Land. I hope you guys will help support Turtle Fest that's coming up April 27th. 27th, guys. We're gonna get this video out ASAP. Hope to see you guys there. You know what? Why don't you post some pictures, tag Camp Cannon, uh, on on the day if you wind up getting here to Turtle Fest. Awesome great. stuff. Ty, great. just amazing work, buddy. Thank you. All right, we're going to get some more video with Ty. Maybe we should play with some lizards since we are yep. at Iguana Land. I'll see you on another episode. Thank you so much for joining me and Ty today. Hope you enjoyed what you saw here. Come visit Iguana Land. Help support Turtle Fest. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye. Awesome. That's great.